Hey folks, Dino here again. This time taking a look at the latest figure updates. Um, pretty much the reason I did this is because there's a very important one just been announced. Um, but I thought I'd make it into a larger video just to update the last couple of months. And yeah, let's get started. So, <laughs> the main one that's literally just been announced today is Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But <laughs> this is literally six years in the making <laughs> for Tamashi. Um, I am... I'll be honest, I'm ecstatic for this. Say what you will about GT, but the Super Saiyan 4 designs are incredible, really. <laughs> like, honestly, it's one of my favourite designs. I kind of prefer it to Super Saiyan Blue. To be honest. Um, but yeah, um, this will be out in fall of 2021, apparently, as a normal release. So hopefully that means it's a decent price. And here we've got some high quality pictures of them. Um, yeah, <laughs> I really love this. Um, the proportions seem spot on. Um, the only thing I'm not 100% happy with is the knees but that's nothing really <laughs> it looks almost perfect um, I love the stern face it really fits Goku uh, the faces themselves are slightly off but that's probably just prototype uh, differences. These faces always come out better once they're actually in hand. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> he also comes with a 10 times Kamehameha effect piece. A um, bit disappointed it's just it just seems like the regular effect piece painted red. I would kind of prefer an actual beam effect at this point but yeah, what are you going to do? And yeah, the <laughs> the butterfly joints, they actually make a big deal about it in an up upcoming picture. Um, you can get his hands right across him. It's brilliant. And yeah, here we go. So he comes with four faces, um, by the looks of it. A multitude of hands. Um, you've got the smirk face, which I'll probably have on him. For some reason, Goku gets a lot more cocky when he's Super Saiyan 4, whereas Vegeta is more serious, kind of reversing roles there. Um, so you've got serious, smirking, gritty teeth, and yelling face, and yet they're just making a big deal of the articulation on him. He can look up really well for having such massive amounts of hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really liking the look of it. Really enjoying it. Uh, next up, ah, just him and his signature pose. Um, the rock effect is actually coming out, not with Goku. Um, I'm kind of glad about that because it would bump the price up for seemingly no reason. But yeah, um, it's coming out as an effect piece apparently. So yeah. <laughs> next up, they announced this a couple of days ago. Um, Namek Saga Bulma. Or Bulma. Um, and yeah, it looks good. Unfortunately, it's another limited run release. So I'll likely not be getting it. Um, she'll probably be extortionate for no other reason than the fact that she's a limited run. Um, but yeah, she does look good. The faces on her look spot on. <laughs> and she comes with the... What is that? The seven star ball? Or Namek? So yeah, um, pretty decent. Um, this is mostly everyone's favourite version of Bulma because it's the most screen time she's had. <laughs> Even though they kind of forgot about her dynamic, but um, yeah, I don't know. I I think a a Cell Saga Bulma I'd prefer to have. Um, that to me is the definitive 
version of Bulma. She had quite a lot of screen time in that saga as well. But yeah, um, you've got her freaking out face. <laughs> that's that's perfect. Um, brilliant. And also she's got her backpack, which she barely wore, but it's an extra accessory. So what are you going to do? They also announced this uh, start of April, I think, which is the Cell Saga TN and Opposable Chiaotzu. Everyone's been screaming for that. So yeah, happy we're getting that. Um, kind of makes the demoniacal fit accessory set irrelevant now. Because <laughs> um, now we have an articulated version of this TN. Um, well, not that the other one wasn't articulated, just his uh, top part of his gi is better integrated into it. So yeah, um, I'll be getting that, especially because it comes with posable chiaotzu, like completely posable. It's not just a static object now. <laughs> um, they should have done that the first time round, but there you go. Um, cooler was also announced. I can't remember whether I mentioned that last time, um, but I'm putting it in here just to be in the safe side. It, it looks amazing, it really does. Um, unfortunately, by now, I think most pre-orders have closed for him. I know the ones on Tamashi's own website have closed. Not that I can use that website anyway. Um, some places might still have pre-orders open for him. Um, I'm still on the fence about whether to get him or not, because the Dragon Stars is a decent enough stand-in for him. Um, for a one-off character. I mean, his design's amazing, don't get me wrong. But, do I really want another version of him just to stand there? I don't know. <laughs> um, plus, I'm not particularly thrilled with the colour of his purple. Um, I think some images of Cooler do have him in that sort of shade, but I prefer the less red purple, if that makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> enough of my rambling. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is having a reissue. Um, I think he is 40 odd pounds, which is really good for this Goku. I suggest everyone grab him because he's currently like a holy grail at this point. Um, hopefully he doesn't have any quality control issues since he's a reissue, especially with that here. But Definitely one I'd recommend picking up while you can. And finally they revealed a Dodoria. Um, this particular picture, this is basically the only one we have of him. He looks like he needs an adult, <laughs> judging by where those hands are. But <laughs> yeah, he's looking good. Um, I really doubt I'll be getting him because I can't get my hands on first form freezer. For some reason, a lot of the UK places um, weren't putting him up for pre-order. Um, as far as I was aware, he wasn't a web exclusive or anything like that. Or a premium exclusive, but yeah, I, I couldn't get a hold of Freeze, unfortunately. So, I doubt I'll be getting his two minions. Because <laughs> Zarbon will definitely be on the way now that they've shown this guy. Um, also, I only just noticed how weird the Doria looks with a scouter. How does his ear fit into that scouter? <laughs> um, that's all I'll say about that. Um, on to Demoniacal Fit now. Um, a few days ago, Mar Marco um, previewed these two pictures. Um, he's not unveiled it yet, but he says something is coming for Goku Day which, as of this recording, is today. So I've got a feeling he's going to show these figures in their entirety. Um, basically, it's his take on Saiyan Saga Kaioken Goku, as well as, I'm guessing, Saiyan Saga Vegeta. Kind of wish it's Namek Saga for these two, though. Um, I'd love a Goku with a... 
full bare chest from Saiyan Saga, but I'd also love a Vegeta from Namek Saga, so I'm kind of torn. <laughs> um, but yeah, the hair on Vegeta is amazing. That is far, far closer to what he looked like in early Dragon Ball Z, with the thinner face and the more wavy hair. Um, that's really good looking. I, I do like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Um, he also announced a few weeks ago, I think, um, that they will be releasing the official version of the GO um, instead of the Demoniacal Fit version. So he's basically copied the mold. But that's not all, because he showed in the other promo that he's used the fixed gi. <laughs> so the V is further down his chest, which is a marked improvement over the real one. That's basically the reason I didn't get the real one, is because it wasn't accurate. The demoniacal fit one was better to me. But now that I can get an accurate head sculpt on top of an accurate body, yeah, count me in. <laughs> demoniacal fit, you've done it again. Um, keeping on Vegito. Oh no, no. Um, first off, they've announced Bardock Super Saiyan head sculpt is coming. I don't have the normal Bardock yet. I have paid for the pre-order now, so he is finally on his way, I would assume. Um, that's the one thing with ordering from UK companies. They get the stock in a bit later than even America. Um, but yeah, I might have to get a second Bardock to have him Super Saiyan. <laughs> because that looks perfect. That's what should have came with him. Um, but yeah, it doesn't even look like the old Super Saiyan head sculpt that they released as the Goku and Vegeta set. That looks like a brand new sculpt, which I'm all for. It looks incredible. Bring it on. Uh, yeah. Really should have put this before the Vegito, uh, the Bardock. But <laughs> um, they also released this, I think, back in late February. Um, basically, the Super Saiyan head sculpt for the official Bard uh, Bardock. I keep getting too mixed up for some reason. Uh, for the official Vegito. But bear in mind, these head sculpts will probably fit the Demonical Fit one as well. Um, which is a welcome bonus. Unless he even stocks uh, some with him. I suppose we'll find out. <laughs> um, but yeah, these look good. I never was really a fan of the smirking face sculpt on the official mould. But these ones look a bit better. Gotta be honest. Um, next up, he announced that in May, the, I don't know what you call it, the clone of Goku from Fighters. Um, basically, they were recolors of Goku that were mindless drones in that game. Uh, yeah, Marco's doing the Goku, which Tamashi is also doing. So he's basically trying to give them the middle, middle finger <laughs> to say that he can do it too. <laughs> um, it looks decent enough. Not my cup of tea. Um, since the only fighters character we've had is Android 21, and I wasn't interested in that either. But yeah, um, decent enough I suppose. Uh, nice easy repaint for him to do. So yeah. And to finish off, Mad Marco released this, I think, a month or so ago. <laughs> so, Mad Marco actually had, I, I assume, prior knowledge to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku reveal. Hence why he's not really mentioned anything about it um, recently. But yeah, looks like Mad Marco is now working on Vegeta instead. Which is a good thing. It means we don't have to choose between the official Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Demon Echo Fitz version. Uh, but yeah, hopefully he gets this Vegeta out before Tamashi announces 
their own <laughs> and cuts them off again. Uh, it seems Tamashi is really working to fight a demoniacal fit more and more these days, especially with the Ginyu Force reveals. Like, they push them out like no tomorrow. Um, also, I think Marco was working on a cooler and a Bardock, um, both of which Tamashi are pushing out rather quickly again. So it seems they're trying to cut him off before he gets the chance to actually produce these figures. Um, hopefully he does well with them. Um, but yeah guys, that will do it for this little update. So until next time, I'll see y'all later.